It's been said that all fiction, in many films also, the theme at the heart of them is the search for a true home. And I think that's probably uh, behind the actions of many of my characters. Hirsch in Bitterwash Road and the most recent novel piece, he lives at the police station. The police station, in fact, is a little cottage on, the, on a highway, but the, most of the time he's living in a vehicle. He's in a four-wheel drive that he goes out to outlying sheep stations in, for example, uh, or to crime scenes. He has no home, really. I'm interested in that notion of uh, the outsider, the newcomer, someone who doesn't quite belong. That said, I've lived in this house for 25 years now, but it doesn't quite feel like home. I think that setting is an unacknowledged part of fiction writing. It's not just a backdrop for a story or for the action. A setting can in fact influence character, influence plot. I try to make a place vivid for the reader by appealing to their senses. And I find also I can't even start to write until I can see a person in a place, until I can sm smell the dust in the air or whatever it might be. I always try to push at my boundaries when I'm writing fiction. A lot of my crime fiction has been multi-viewpoint and that's a really useful way of creating suspense and tension because often the reader knows more than the main character does. I hope sometimes that the reader wants to tap the main character on the shoulder and say, look out behind you. In Peace, I take you only into the mind of the main character. So for the reader, it's a voyage of discovery as it is for Hirsch as Hirsch is trying to make sense of the landscape he's, he's in, and as he tries to make sense of the, the crime he's investigating, uh, uh, the suspense is there because as he discovers, so does the reader. <laughs>